Yo, what's going on boys? I'm going to be showing you guys the games to how I got to Ultimate Champion with 98% win rate with Expo. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I think my only loss was at like League 4 or something. I had Netflix open on the background, so I wasn't really paying attention. And the guy pulled out a Monk out of nowhere, so lost the game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, love you guys. Bye. Alright, I'm in a match here facing Fairness. I don't really know how to say that name, but see what deck he's playing. I'm just going to go for an Ice Spirit to cycle. It's one of the safest starting play with this deck. Um, if you guys are confused on like how to start off the game with this deck, you could probably just go Archers in the back. It always goes unpunished. You could also go for like an Ice Spirit, but Skellies in the back is kind of iffy if they have a Golden Knight. They could just dash into your tower for no reason. So yeah, just got to be careful. Gonna Expo here because it kind of looked like Splash Shard, but turns out it is RG. So gonna have to defend this. I'm gonna have to like Tesla down low and then probably just go for a log on the egg on the left. But I'm not sure if he's gonna support it. So actually, no, I'm not even gonna Tesla. I'm just gonna log the RG back and just go Skellies on the bird. To kind of opposite lane he's kind of spending a lot though he just went fisherman for no reason okay he missed the log too so he's got like five elixir right now i'm just gonna get back to my expo and just spam it and just give him the good game because he's not back to rg so the most he can do is like lightning me out yeah he also placed a log already so he can't really um kill max but at the moment i'm just gonna log that out wait no that was supposed to be a log oh my goodness okay pretty annoying misplay by me but plenty of time to make up for it so i should be fine but yeah, if I got the log down there, I would have taken the tower down to like 1k HP and possibly forced out some more elixir, probably like a fisherman or like a mother witch or something. But yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Doesn't matter though. Um, see what he does here. I suppose he's going to try and go in because I don't really have my Tesla in cycle. So it might take some damage here, but let's see. Okay, ghost in the back. I'm going to arches in the back. Going to save my ice bear for defense. Actually, no. Going to try to force out like a fisherman opposite lane. Okay, never mind. He's not going to respond to that. Kind of a bad ice spirit now that I think about it. Probably should have saved it for defense, but only two hits. So it doesn't matter. I'm still up like a whole 1300 damage. So I'll be fine. He's probably just going to mother witch on this. Yeah, I could fireball, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to test out the middle. That way, like, I can bait out a lightning again and just go in. Because if he lightnings, he's going to be at like one elixir right now. I don't suppose he's going to risk playing a lightning on the Tesla in single though. Yeah, I had a feeling he wouldn't. That's fine. I can just try to get back to a second Tesla because it's almost dead now. So going to have to Ice Spirit to force something out. And he's actually going to let it connect. So I'm just going to Fireball. Going to have to Spell Cycle the rest of the game because I'm not going to get a lock again. So just going to have to get some spells in right now. Going to go for Archers on defense here. I know he's going to go in soon, so just got to be careful. Archers low. I'm not going to Tesla this because if I do, he gets a fat lightning. Um, well, he doesn't have enough anymore, but yeah, my plan was to like just DPS it down with the knight and the archers and it worked So I'm just gonna fireball the mother witch out. Oh my god, that's a bird and a fisherman. All right I'm gonna have to panic a little here But should be fine overall because archers do a lot of DPS and he also can't get my archers out because he doesn't have a fireball Okay, really interesting um, Bird me personally. I would never play like that. But yeah, I see what he does here. just gonna go expo and just go ice spirit Okay, gonna block the RG with the Tesla here. I played it in the middle so that way like if he RG'd on the other side I'd be able to chuck a Tesla like right next to Maxpo and just get a lock um, But yeah, the RG got a last shot so Maxpo is not gonna live I'm gonna fireball though because it's a pretty good value fireball hit like two of the goblins and also hit the fisherman So he might go in soon if he does I'm gonna have to Tesla it Just gonna go for like a Tesla and then probably just gonna go for like a knight or log it back Actually, if I go Tesla, I don't really have to knight but I'm just gonna do it anyways because he might mother which my Archers, better safe than sorry, because I don't want to choke to, like, pigs at this point. I'm up a lot of um, elixir and damage, so I'm just going to Axpo again. Um, he's not back to RG, not even close, so this should get a log. Going to log over here, just got Ice Spirit on the side. Going to go for Skellies over here, and nice, that's going to lock on, so it's a really easy win. Um, only, like, four games away from Ultimate Champion, so I'll just hop right in. I'll see you when I find a game. Only one loss so far, so feeling good about this. Okay, got a match. See what deck he's playing. I'm just going to cycle my Ice Spirit. Pretty much any game, if I have an Ice Spirit in Strutting Hand, I'm just going to send it. And, like, going to save it later on in the game if it's, like, Balloon or, like, E-Giant or something. But if it's not, every time I get it in Cycle, I'm probably just going to send it. So, yeah, see what he does here. Bird in the back again. So, better not be RG again. Could also be E-Giant. I know E-Giant's pretty popular, but I'm just going to Axe on the left here to find out. If he goes for RG, like, that's it. I don't really care about it. Oh, E-Barbs. Okay, E-Barbs and Bird might be uh, E-Giant or Golem. I don't really know what else it could be. Okay, it is going to be Golem. So I'm going to Ice Spirit on the Egg here. And that should also hit the Lumberjack. Wait, I'm going to activate King. Because I don't really have to get the Lumberjack on the King. I can just drop the Rage on it. Nice. Alright, beautiful activation. And he's going to be playing Golem. So it's going to be really clutch. Not that I wouldn't be able to activate off of like a 
E drag or something in this matchup, but it's just really nice to get the activation early on and then just get a lock right now because he played a pump in the back. Okay, he's gonna E drag that, probably gonna barber L2. Um, but I'm not really too sure. See what he does here. I'm just gonna knight on the E drag to defend it. Okay, what was that? That was actually such a horrible play because I don't really have to like play anything extra. I was going to knight anyways, so he just kind of gave a knight a lot of value. It's gonna come back to kill the egg, but that's fine. The E drag should die to my other tower. If not, I'm just gonna like Ice Spirit on it. Yeah, I don't have to. It's gonna die, so I'm just gonna um, Tesla in the middle. Gonna have to buckle up for defense. Just goes for a Golem in the back, so. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit sick. But let's see how he does this. He's probably going to go for like a Lumberjack behind this and just go E Barb's opposite lane. Kind of similar to like all the E Golem players. You know how they go E Golem in the back and just go Healer with it and then go E Barb's opposite lane and then go Night Witch, same lane with the E Golem and just kind of split lane. I feel like that's what he's kind of aiming for, but. Never mind, go same lane. So that's a fat fireball on the Golemite, the Lumberjack, and the E Barbs. I'm just gonna Ice Spirit over here to save my archers, and then I'm gonna Skellies on the E Drag. Ooh, bit of a misplay on man, but doesn't matter. Only two hits, so I'll be fine. But if I got the Skellies down, I would have been flawless. Like, no damage on my tower. Well, Golemite on the right side, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna Axe on the right side to bait out like a Golem on the right side. He's not gonna be too happy about this because he has to respond to it. He actually played a golem on the left here, so a pretty good golem, I guess. He's going to go all in. So the Axpa is just going to be on the field, um, DPSing down the golem, pretty much like a defensive Axpa. So yeah, that was kind of smart by me. I didn't know it was going to serve as like a defensive Axpa. Though. I just wanted to bait out a golem, but he played it opposite lane, so that was good. Mirror Lumberjack, just going to go Ice Spirit, and the Rage is actually helping him out a little. It got like one of my archers out, but that's fine. Going to go Axpa again, and my right side Axpa locked on. Oh, nice. He went um, Phoenix in the back at the same time, so he's not going to be able to get the Golem down. So that's game. Really good two wins here. Um, This matchup was really good, unlike last game, which was kind of bad because RG is like, really hard to beat, but that guy didn't play well. So yeah, just got to win like three more, or it might be four more. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, I'll see you in a finding game, I guess. But once again, to beat this matchup, you have to get a lock-in single. All right, I'm in a game here facing Yuhei. See what deck he's playing. I'm just going to go Archers in the back. I'm never going to Skelly's the back again. I'm just joking. But today I lost the game because I went Skelly's the back first play. And the guy played a Golden Knight on the two Skelly side. And just popped his ability. I didn't have a Knight in cycle. So it took like half my tower down. Yeah, and I lost. I was really upset, but it's fine. Enough of that though. Just going to Axe on the left here. So kind of looking like Minor Poison with a Mortar. Yeah, this deck kind of needs a nerf, not gonna lie. Like 80% of the top ladder is full of this deck. I feel like the Queen, the Minor, and maybe the Mortar needs a nerf, but I'm not really too sure. It's kind of hard to beat this deck with um, Queen Bovalk, not gonna lie. But with a Fireball, should be fine because I can actually get the defensive Mortars out. I'm gonna log, but I have to get a log to keep up with the Spell Cycle, though. Or else I'm just gonna get Minor Poisoned out, so gonna archer same lane to bait out like a poison if i can but he's probably not going to if he does i'm gonna axe on the left but let's be honest i'm on league nine so people actually like know what they're doing so yeah he didn't go for a poison gonna axe on the left here um let's see what he does might just go queen or something knight in the middle yeah he's definitely gonna queen here so i'm gonna ice spirit to block and just go knight on the queen nice all right really good knight he's gonna have to pop his ability which means i get like a tiny lock also gonna skelly's here to kind of like delay the queen on the axe but that way i get some Really good damage on the tower. Nice. Okay, I'm up damage right now. This is all I needed. Low-key, I can, like, spell cycle from here, so I'll be fine. Just gonna arch his way. What? Why is he, like, switching lanes? He's not even back to his second ability. Okay, also played a log for no reason, so I'm just gonna Axe here. He's got, like, four elixir right now, probably, so probably gonna go mortar the middle. Whoa, okay, I don't agree with that play, but I'm just gonna Ice Spirit just go log over here, and yeah, that should kill the knight, so Axe should lock on. Gonna go um, Skelly's on the goblins. Once I logged, I realized he had goblins, so that was kind of annoying. But I had to log it, though, to kill the knight. Or the knight would have taken out Max, but that would not have been optimal. But, yeah, pretty good damage. 1370 is, like, five fireballs and, like, a few logs, so I'll be fine. Just gonna go um, Archer's the back to cycle. He might go in soon, though. Oh, yeah, I would have been better off predicting that, but it's fine. I'm just gonna fireball quickly. Ice Spirit, just go log over here to kill everything, and that should not get any damage on the tower. He also put a minor on my archer, so pretty easy to catch. Just gonna go skellies on it, and yeah, pretty good defense there. I'm gonna go axe on the right to bait out like a poison. I don't really want to axe on the left. Wait, is he gonna mortar right? Oh my goodness, I should have predicted the left, but I thought he was going to mortar right, because at this point, like, he would have been better off going opposite lane, but he's not protecting the mortar, so I don't really know what he's doing here, but yeah, just gonna test. I'm not gonna axe bow yet, because he might pressure me on the right side. Oh yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage. He also went for a minor poison, so just gonna have to knight over here. Probably gonna take it down to like 2,500. Actually, nah. 
just 2800 okay not bad so just gonna go for an axe button he might go for like a mortar on the anti-fireball spot so i'm gonna keep this ready what okay just goes for mortar on the fireball spot so i'm just gonna take that and then just go knight on the knight here and uh he might go minor so i'm gonna play my ice spirit behind my expo never mind he actually didn't go for it so i'm just gonna log over here and yeah just gonna fireball the tower to win the game expo is gonna get enough damage fireball does like 207 on tournament standard wait no this is level 14 what am i talking about yeah it does way more than that okay i'm in a game pretty sure i'm like three games off right now so should be able to beat this and two more to get that 98 percent win rate um oh my goodness not a good sign zappy's in the back so it might be rg lightning could also be recruits i'm really hoping it's rg though because i'm kind of good at that matchup but if it is recruits it's kind of like unwinnable there's no outplay potential on my end so i'm probably gonna lose oh my god of course it's gonna be recruits all right uh i'm gonna try my best here but i'm probably not gonna be able to beat this if i lose it's gonna be like a 96 percent which i've already done with expo 3.0 so that wouldn't really be like a new achievement but that's fine I'm gonna go for arches in the back there's always a next season so i can always go for that but i don't know i'm kind of hopeless right now because it's looking like that deck I'm gonna go for an expo on the right side um gonna get ready to log out the recruits oh wait 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 this is kind of better now he's got a giant skelly not a recruit so it's the same deck but he's got giant skelly and a mirror i'm pretty sure so like no cage and uh, no recruits just giant skelly and mirror easier to get a log through but yeah this is gonna be annoying he just kind of mirrored the giant skelly in single i did not expect him to do that but that's fine pretty good defense by me gonna go skellies in the back here um don't want to let that lock on my tower oh that was pretty aggressive he played that at four elixir so i'm just gonna expo actually it might have been at like five or six i don't know but that looked pretty low okay yeah it does go for a golden eye so i guess he had like six or something he just kind of played it low which is not bad gonna go for a log on the golden knight now so it doesn't like completely kill my expo that way i force out some elixir okay so he's completely broke right now i'm gonna have to do this in this matchup like i'm gonna have to take any damage i get so this is probably going to take the tower down to like 2k um wow actually that's a lot of damage oh my god yo oh my god that took it down to 1530 that means i got like 1400 damage or something on it i think the tower was at like 29 something so yeah some really good damage um see what he does here might try to go in if he does oh i'll take that fireball thank you um i'm just gonna like tesla in the middle here if he tries to go in he's probably just gonna um giant skelly the back or not zappy's in the back split again so not bad gonna go for skelly's the back i hate doing that i keep forgetting he has a golden knight and um that's pretty risky if he goes golden knight the bridge and just pops his ability when i do that i'm dead so yeah, i'm gonna have to watch out i'm gonna fireball on the right side here just to be safe and the one zappy is going to die to my tesla in the tower so that's fine gonna go for um ice spirit on the side here hopefully he jumps nice he popped the ability but that's not gonna make it to my archer okay some really good defense there um might go arrows on the archers not really too sure but just gonna log this back and just go tesla on the side here didn't play it in the middle because it would have gotten hit by the arrows so that was a really good tesla i'm gonna have to go for like a defensive axman now because i'm not really getting a lock at this point so all i gotta do is like defend the whole game i'm actually gonna archers high because if i play them low they're just gonna get arrows out and good shot like he gets a golden knight on my tower okay never mind he's not playing the golden knight smart kind of played it into my um knight so that was good gonna fireball the zappies out and then he's probably gonna pigs yeah okay he's gonna mirror pigs soon i think should be saving up for it i'm pretty sure uh okay i kind of don't want to expo because i know he's got mirror pigs but see what he does He's not really making a play, so I'm going to scale the middle, just go log. All right, just going to axe on defense again. He can't mirror them anymore because he played a fisherman, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, arrows. Okay, so I'm going to arches in the mirror arrows. Okay, he can't do anything. I'm just going to, like, spell cycle him out. He spent seven elixir on an axe, but it's not even dead, so that was good. I'm going to go for a Tesla over here, and he's not going to mirror Tesla because he's not back to mirror. Or not going to mirror pigs is what I meant to say. Also, good thing I didn't like play skellies on it because if I did, it would have dashed onto my skellies and possibly my tower. You never really know with Golden Knight because it's so unpredictable now. Ooh, kind of got predicted. But just going to fireball the Mother Witch out and the Zappies. Okay, going to have to Knight in front. Not going to Archers because I know he's got arrows. So i just going to have to be careful and... Okay, Fisherman. So I'm just going to fireball cycle. 409 is like two fireballs so just gonna test out the middle oh i know what he's gonna do here yep there it is mirror pigs so just gonna knight skelly's on the right and i'm back to fireball i didn't even need the log there but that's fine just gonna fireball and yeah that's game so that was a really easy win versus like a horrible matchup because the guy didn't play very well and he also didn't abuse the mirror pigs but yeah i'll take the win okay i'm in a match here facing dolly two games off so i'm kind of getting nervous but 
I'll be fine. I just got to play good and not make any misplays. So going to go for Skelly's the back and just go Archer's the back to cycle. Don't want to log yet. Might be log bait. Okay, well, that's not looking like log bait. Looking like RG, maybe. Um, Could also be like a different deck. Probably like pigs or something, but who knows. Going to knight over here. This could be like the pigs giant Skelly deck. Could also be drill golden knight nato deck with a magic archer, but yeah, kind of looking like both of those. See what deck he's... Okay, what? Bowler? I have no idea what he's playing anymore, but... Looks annoying just because he has a bowler. Earthquake. Okay, so Hoggy Q maybe with a ghost and a bowler. I mean, it's not the craziest thing I'll face today. Gonna fireball the pigs and the bowlers. So now I know what deck he's playing. Gonna knight on the bowler. He probably thought I was going to like skellies on it. So he we went for a log, but yeah, not a bad play at all. Except for I think he's kind of low on elixir. So I should be able to get a lock here. I know he's back to zappies, right? So if I just go expo and then ice spear archers on it, should be fine. Should be able to like DPS it down and then he's got to go for like pigs again or like a bowler if he's back to it, which he probably will be. I don't know, but I'm just going to go for an ice bear and just go archers on the zappies. Nice. Uh, firecracker. What? All right. This deck is really annoying and he actually killed my expo with that. So I'm going to have to just sit back for now and just take that activation. Kind of need this activation right now, though, because oftentimes he might try to like get the pigs on my tower with the earthquake on the Tesla. And when that happens, the king tower is actually going to help me out a lot. So, yeah, I don't know if, like, I'm going to be able to beat this or not, but King Activision is 100% going to help out. Going to log over here to Cycle. Thing is, I can't Expo right now because I know he's got a Bowler in Cycle, so I'm going to have to get that out before I can actually go in. Going to Knight in the back. Oh, my God, the AC turned on, so it's probably going to be loud in the background. Just ignore it. Um, okay, Bowler at the back. So just going to Expo here, and if he goes Pigs, I'm definitely going to Fire Bullet to get the damage nice we take those really good cycle read he might go for like a firecracker nice okay um that should not lock on the expo never mind i actually shot the expo but that's fine i got some really good damage there but he's back to a second bowler so he might just go for like two bowlers and like a ghost possibly pigs or something so i'll try my best to get the fireball before all that happens gonna tesla here he actually didn't bother going for any of that um he also didn't play zappies on the tesla to snipe it pretty interesting but I see what he does here. I'm going to expo. I feel like he's going to Zappy, so I'm going to block it and just go like this. Nice. Uh, I'm reading his plays really good right now. Like, I knew he was going to pigs the first time, and then second time. He obviously went at pigs because the first time I fireballed it, so he probably wanted to play it safer. Just go Zappies, and this time I actually played Archers because I knew he was going to Zappies. Going to fireball on the pigs. I'm not sure if all that made sense, but hopefully it did. Going to Archers on defense. And uh, this is kind of what I was worried about. He's got two bowlers on the field, so I'm going to have to, like, watch out and just not let him um, get to my tower here. Just going to knight. Nice, really good ice spirit. Um, I need him to go pigs really bad. Nice. Okay, he actually went pigs. So I'm going to fireball log everything out. Honestly, um, I'm going to be real. I thought I was going to take way more damage than that, but I only took one earthquake damage and, like, a few firecracker hits and probably a log or two logs or something, but... I'm definitely going to have to expo on the right side soon. Not right now, though, but just going to go Ice Spirit. I'm going to expo now, actually, because he played a Firecracker in the back. But, yeah, I just want to get the bowler out. That way, like, he can't bowler on the left. I don't really care if the expo dies. I wasn't, like, planning on getting a lock with that expo anyway. So, just going to log the Firecracker out. And then just going to go Skellies on it. Might go Earthquake on the Tesla on the Skellies. Never mind. He's going to Earthquake the Tower. So, Archer's over here. And that should distract the bowler and the Firecracker or not. The Firecracker is actually going to lock on. But just going to expo here, and yeah, just going to fireball the zappies. He's got two elixir right now, so he can't do anything. Nice, yeah, okay, that's going to be game. So really easy win here. Um, Kind of had me um stressing there for a minute on the left, because he had two bowlers and like a ghost and everything down, but I was able to shut it down pretty easily, so I'll take the win. Okay, on to my last game here. I cannot afford to lose just one game off. Watch me get like the hardest matchup ever. I'm just joking. I really hope I didn't jinx myself there, but yeah, I cannot afford to lose. If I lose, I'm going to have to win the next two, and uh, my win rate is going to be kind of bad, so I'm going to have to watch. I'm just going to knight on the Lumberjack. Yo, he played a bowler of the back without knowing I'm playing Expo, and he's actually playing Lumber Loon, so I think I won. going to have to wait for, like, the Barbarrel. I think he's going to Barbarrel soon. Uh, I guess he doesn't have it in Cycle because he should have played it by now. So he's got to, like, eye drag that. Okay, Baby Dragon, not bad. So, gonna go for, um, Skellies on this. That means he does not have an E-Drag since he has a Baby Dragon, which is good. Um, I'm gonna go for, like, Archers in the back same lane and just go Expo again. No E-Drag, so, like, I can afford the Archers in the back same lane. If he had E-Drag, though, I would definitely split the Archers in the back. But, yeah, see what he does here. Okay, just gonna Expo now. He's He's got, like, NATO, um, Balloon, I drag and a Barbarrel. Okay, I'm gonna log. Nice, he mistimed that, so... 
I won the game now. He's got a freeze to stop the expo. Nice. He's actually not going for it. So, yeah, I won the game now. He can't do anything. Just going to scale his low for the eye dragon. Just go knight on the bowler. Um, I think he's going to give up soon because he can't win this anymore. Going to archers on defense here, and that should kill the bowler. Okay, nice. I'm going to ice bird over here to kind of pull the lumberjack in. Not bad. Okay, really good defense. I just need the archers to stay alive so he can't, like, balloon into that rage. Nice. They didn't die to that rage, so that was good. Even if he did go for a balloon, I had a Tesla in cycle, so I was fine. But, yeah, just 1 minute and 24 seconds. All I got to do is defend at this point, so see what he does. I'm just going to, like, axe ball on the right side. Part of me thinks he gave up, but I could be wrong. Okay, baby dragon in the back and a uh, barbarel. All right, yeah, this is game. What is he doing, bruh? No bowler in cycle, and he actually tried to, like, barbarel in front of the axe, but not even, like, on the axe, but then he tried to freeze the axe, but... Yeah, I think he gave up now, so this should be game. Um, but let's see, he might be playing. Just gonna go for a knight archers in the middle. Oh my god, he's still playing. Come on, bruh. This game's over. Just, just let it go. It's fine. Um, just 40 seconds, I guess. So just gonna ice it in the back. Just kind of play defense at this point. But yeah, that's gonna be the video. Okay, wait. This push might like take my tower. I'm gonna be careful. I can afford to like lose a tower right now, but not two towers. Gonna go for um, archers over here. Just gonna go ice spirit over here so that it jumps on both. Nice, really good ice spirit. All right, really good defense. He actually missed the freeze on the Tesla, and the bowler also didn't get any damage on the tower, so that was good. Gonna knight in the middle. Skelly's the middle. 18 seconds left. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the video there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And um, next video probably gonna be top ladder again. I'll try to get to like 3,100 medals, and probably gonna try to push this account pretty high up as well. But yeah, I'm just going to do the intro once I actually get to the Ultimate Champion screen. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.